Hi there. My name is Lagarto. I'm a booze enthusiast, and I like good prices. That's one of the reasons why I shop at Costco. So, things like this spiced rum, this London dry gin, and this vodka, I've pretty much converted all to Costco for my bar because it's really hard to beat the value of spending about half or even less than on a national brand like Bombay Sapphire or Absolute or any of those brands. So, I like rye whiskeys. I like scotches. Rye to me is a little more boozy on the nose, but it has a very similar feel. They are strong liquors that have a smoky flavor. They might be oaky from the barrel that they were aged in. But basically, it pairs well with a cigar, and that's one of the things that I also like to do. So, we're not going to show you any ryes today. I just wanted to have them up here to indicate that that's my flavor profile. That's what I can enjoy. And scotch is where it's at for me. These are okay. Sometimes I feel like I probably paid too much for this bottle and I'm even afraid to open it. But sometimes you just got to experiment and see what you like. So, in that vein, when I go to Costco and I see a new Scotch product, I get excited. This Kirkland 15 year here, for instance, is pretty good. It tastes to me very much like the Macallan, and it's uh, easy on the palate. It's a very mellow Scotch. It doesn't hit you over the head with a lot of smoke, and it's pretty easy going. Uh, this blended Scotch whiskey right here, this is another one of their inexpensive products. And this stuff, let's just say, it ain't that great to drink straight. Hmm. It's all right. It's fairly smooth. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not as good as the Glenmorangie 10 by far, but it's only aged three years. It is actually smoother though than the Knob Creek. What I like to do with the blended whiskey though, is use it as a mixer. So take some ice. And if you want sweet, triple sec is hard to beat. I like Hiram Walker because it's inexpensive and it's also 60 proof. So this stuff, even though it comes in a plastic bottle, and it may not be all that great, uh, is perfect in a margarita and it's uh, pretty good for doing a mixer here. So one of the liquors that I used to buy and I don't anymore is Grand Marnier. That's a cognac mixed with a uh, triple sec product. And... Uh, it's very sweet, like too sweet. So what I've done here is taken half-half, and you can go a little stronger on one or the other depending on whether you like it a little sweeter or a little not. But just over ice, triple sec, and some blended scotch. You've got a pretty solid drink that's not nearly as sweet as Grand Marnier, but it gives you a sweet vibe. And it also cuts down the immature flavor of this particular scotch. So we're gonna put that over there for now. Mm. Not a bad beverage. Hard way to beat. Okay. Now, the scotches. So, we have these two, and I've tried them both, but uh, my opinions on this one, we're going to wait for to the end, because that's the, that's the weirdness here. So, what I like. I like Highland Park for its smoke. I like Macallan for its smooth. I like Lasanta for a little bit of the flavor of the sherry cask that it was finished in. And I like Glenmorangie 10 if I'm just being cheap. Because the handle for $70, it's hard to beat that. In fact, Costco had this, I believe it was for $65. But uh, they don't have it anymore, and that's fine. They have their own Scotch products that they're competing with. So, we are going to uh, have a little sip of the barrel-aged 15-year single malt. Just a tiny splash of this stuff. Because I was really disappointed to find out when I went in to buy a case of this stuff. I wanted to go buy 12 of these after sampling it. It's nice and smooth. It's not perfect. It, to me, it tastes like a 12, but maybe a little more mature than that, because it is distinctly better than this. Uh, but I wouldn't go pay $100 a bottle for this uh, if it was, say, Lagavulin or uh, one of those other more premium scotches. But it's, it's pretty darn good. And at 55 a bottle, which is where Costco had it at the time I purchased it last month, um, definitely worth it. Mm. So that's a fine product. Now, we come to this little oddball. This is Isle Single Malt Scotch, and it doesn't say anywhere on the label, anywhere on the shelf, or anywhere on the receipt about how many years this is aged. And I thought that was a little strange because uh, one of the things that came into my door was the 
uh, Costco Connections magazine, and it had a write-up on how these scotches came to be. So we're talking about this one, this one, and basically back in 2008, the uh, buyer for Costco decided to take a trip to Scotland and hook up with a distillery that would make a specific product just for Costco. Well, uh, this is one of the ones they came up with, and this one scares me. Yeah, so when you... It doesn't even have a lot of odor out of the bottle, but uh, it has a vibe that's just a little off. We're gonna try this again today, because I had this once before, and I'll be honest, I was disappointed. The first Costco liquor product that I've been disappointed in. It makes me nervous about this Kirkland Exo Cognac here that I decided to experiment on. This is a $50 bottle for 750 milliliters, and that's notably cheaper than, say, some Remy Martin at, like, $800. Or some of your other bargain-priced XOs, because that's sort of iffy. Uh, it's not really talked about how many years it's aged or what processes they use. But let's just say Exo Cognac has a wide margin for error. Uh, so I don't know about that one. We'll, we'll see. This bottle... Eh, I hope it's not like this one. So, now that it's in the glass, I can tell you it, it has a strange vibe of burned rubber. Be that inner tubes from your bicycle, pencil erasers, uh, vulcanized rubber from your car tire, perhaps you've been to a drag strip and smelled the, uh, I don't know, mix of ethanol and burned tires, but that's the unfortunate vibe this one gives, and uh... Oh, that is just not good. Okay. I have a lot of experience with scotch. I like rye whiskey, which is a similar flavor profile. This isn't particularly boozy on the nose, but what this does really wrong is instead of hints of spice or oak or earth or any of those more pleasant things you've heard described, to talk about scotch, this one tastes like burned rubber. Smells like burned rubber. In fact, when I opened the bottle the first time and had this in my kitchen, I came back later and couldn't figure out what the weird smell around my sink was. Well, it turned out I hadn't rinsed my whiskey tumbler, and that waft of smell hit me, and I could not believe that was something that I was actually considering drinking. I've tried it again now, but I had just the tiniest little dram, maybe, I don't know, four milliliters of the stuff, and it's just bad. Uh, I'm gonna put the cap back on here, and I need to wash this glass out, or maybe, I don't know, put it in the trash, because it could be contaminated. This tastes like poison. Do not buy it. Costco. This Islay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey for $38 a bottle for a 750 milliliter, which... By the way, why is it in a brown bottle? You can clearly see every other bottle I've got for all scotches and ryes are clear. Why did you put this in a brown bottle? What is wrong with this product? How did this end up on your shelf? Why are you selling it under the Kirkland label? You are damaging your brand by continuing to offer this product. Pull it from your shelves immediately and turn it into industrial alcohol or destroy it. But don't dump it in a river because it'll probably kill the fish and the other important wildlife. So my recommendation, very considered, very educated, is do not buy this product. And hopefully Costco will never make a mistake this grievous again because it will put people off of the brand and they will not trust when they see something shiny and new that it could be possibly as good as a national brand that you've heard of that if you went to a liquor store and asked an employee there, they could give you an honest opinion about whether it has the flavor profile you're looking for because they're not going to say it's bad. They're just going to say, what other things do you like? And they'll have a conversation with you about alcohol that you can enjoy drinking. Because honestly, there's two ways to drink alcohol. There's, I want to get drunk tonight. Let me have 10 shots of this. Or I would like to puff on a cigar and enjoy one of these as a finger tall. We're talking maybe 30 to 50 milliliters of this alcohol and have a good time sipping on it and enjoying the flavor because those are the two ways you go in the booze world it's i want to get drunk or i'd really like to enjoy this today so i hope you've enjoyed this video subscribe if you like although i don't do a lot of booze reviews it's mostly skiing and other silly things uh, but definitely like the video and share it if you think it's good information and thank you for watching